Hello and welcome. My name is David Starr. I'm the TD at Trapeze Animation Studios in Charlottetown, Prince Edward Island, Canada. And today I'm going to show you how to use SVNX on the Mac. So the first thing to do if you do not have SVNX is to download it. Quick Google search, bring you to Mac Update where you can download it now. Drag the app file into your applications folder after the DMG mounts on your desktop. You can also follow along with the uh, written instructions on our website. You should know this address. Of course you need your username and password. Subversion usage. And SVNX. Okay. So the first thing we need to do is actually set it up. So, step number one open terminal. Quickest way to find it, I think, is Spotlight. At the prompt, type the following SVN list HTTPS <clears throat> First time you do this, you'll get an error validating server certificate. What you just want to do here is perm P for permanently, followed by enter, password for trapeze. This trapeze is not actually my username on the server, so I'll press enter and it'll let me type in my own username, followed by password. And then you will see uh, our DJ tools and trapeze. Now we're finished with terminal, and quit that. Step number two open SVNX, which we've already got running. Uh, plus to add a new repository. Uh, if your repository window is not showing, you can just choose it from the window menu. Name it and the URL. Now when you double click it, you'll open the repository viewer. Without uh, accepting the certificate, you would have received an error at this stage. So once the repository window loads, then you're in. Uh, for the purposes of this tutorial, we're actually going to add another repository called the Sandbox. So let's go ahead and do that now. The URL is the same domain slash sandbox instead of slash SVN. And you can use your same user and password. So uh, basically this is the repository window as I've said. Uh, the top of the window is the revision log. You can see each revision number, uh, the author, and their message and date, etc. If you click this little gear icon, it'll also show you the paths that were modified in that commit. So this concludes the first part, uh, setting up the trapeze repository in SVNX. Thanks for watching.